Hey, welcome back to Jazz Tutorials. Today I'll be showing you a really cool 3D fruit text effect. We're going to be turning fruit into a text. Now, we're working in Illustrator and Photoshop today because I feel like Illustrator really helps enhance the 3D effect. There are 3D effects in Photoshop, but with trial and error and trying this out, I found that Illustrator really showcased the lovely 3D effect really nicely. So if you don't have Illustrator, then I'm sorry this may not be for you. There might be a way of doing it in Photoshop to make it look replicated as in Illustrator, but I've yet to figure that out or make it look as cool. So I'm just going to say Illustrator would be the way to go. But if you can figure out a way in Photoshop, go for it. Um, I don't know if I've seen any tutorials on the web with this kind of a effect. Um, I was researching and found really nothing of this sort, so I figured I would do something along this line. I just played around and tried to figure stuff out and magically came up with this cool tutorial, so that's why I'm here. So we're going to start with our text, and I'm using a font that we've used before. It's called In it's called Instaburger. I don't remember what tutorial we used it on, but I have it, and I will provide it for you in the link below. Description box below has the downloads because you will need this uh, for this tutorial. Now, I'm just going to do the initial initials here. I'm not going to do a whole text thing. If you want to do the whole entire text, I will explain to you in the previous steps on what you can do with that. But I'll just show you one letter for now in Illustrator. Now, for me, I'm going to use a 200-point text because I'm only doing a few letters. But if you're doing more than one letter, I would suggest going smaller. But since I'm only using two letters, I'm going to go as big as I possibly can to really make it look cool. All right, now I'm going to go over here and move this text down below. All right, I'm going to change the color of this just because when you add the 3D effects to black, it doesn't really look really cool just yet. So we're going to just add another color just for temporary reasons. Um, but you can change the color of your text. We're going to change the color anyway in a moment, but just so you can see the effect really nicely, I'm going to change the color for you. So go over here to Effects and select Extrude Bevel. And you're going to want to select a 20 point extrude because that's what I'm looking for. And uh, there we go. Now, if you find you don't like where that is and want to edit that, go here, edit appearance, double click that, and you can then go to preview and you can edit and move it however you like. So I like it just like that. Okay, sweetness, we're going to leave it there. Now we're going to change the whole entire color of this item, your text. So we're going to have to first go over here to object, and we're, is it, yeah, object, we're going to expand the appearance, and the reason why we're expanding the appearance is because when you go and add a gradient on top of this without expand appearance available, it will just look ridiculous and the 3D effect will not show, it'll look as if it's only one layer. So go ahead and expand your appearance on that, that way every crevice and every little nook and cranny gets all of that cool goodness of your gradient we're going to select. And depending on the fruit you're going for, you'll want to select the colors for that particular one. I'm going to go with a strawberry, so I'm going to go with some red colors. I'm only choosing two colors here because that's really all I'm going to want to use. But you're going to want to, of course, select colors that suit that particular one. I don't need all of these. Get rid of them. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye. We only need two. All right, and you want to have linear as your type. So we're going to go select a red hue. And obviously, you can adjust the hues in your little box over here. So we're going to go with a nice juicy red over there. And then somewhat of a not so, a kind of a brightish reddish hue in the other corner. Um, hmm, it's going to be a little bit bright because... All right, well, nope, that's not bright enough. It's gotta be bright. Hmm, let's see, how do we make this bright? What kind of color? All right, we're gonna go with that. And when you're adding your gradient, make sure you have your layers selected, as you see here, because if you have it without selection, then it won't really show on there. So I've used linear on this, but you can use so that's what it looks like there. Um, but you're going to want to adjust the colors to suit the color of your fruit, obviously. And if you have to adjust this, you can. 
Well, we're gonna add textures on top of this in Photoshop, so if the colors don't really match, leave your document open in here so you can edit and then go back and export if you have to change the colors. So I've already made my lovely um, strawberry one over here in this one here. So I have that, I have mine as a T, that's what mine looks like. Now once you have your letter that letters or letter that you're using, we're gonna go to File, we're gonna go to Export, and you're going to select under Format, Photoshop PSD, and then Save As, whatever you wanna save it as, click Export, and then go ahead and now minimize this, but leave your document open, because like I said, if you have to go back and exchange the colors, and then re-export, you can do that, otherwise you'll be in trouble if you don't. So leave that open, but minimize that. All right, now with Photoshop open, you now see here that I've exported and opened my two colors. Now I'm doing orange and a strawberry. So now we're gonna work on adding the strawberry texture and the orange texture on top. Now, you're probably gonna look at me and think I'm crazy for the next portion of this tutorial, but it's the way it has to work, okay? It's the only way I could physically do this without making it look screwy and weird. So we're gonna go over here and again grab the type tool, and we're gonna use Instaburger in here as well. Now what we have to do is we have to now make the same uh, shape. It has to match this. So go ahead and type your text and then you got to warp it, transform it, whatever you gotta do to make it fit on top. So as you see over here, I use gray for my color, but it doesn't really matter the color you use because we're gonna get rid of that anyway with texture. So I'm using gray, but again, use any color you like and you're gonna to wanna to make sure you transform it to suit and fit on top of that lovely first part of the text. So that's gonna usually, and in order to use perspective, warp, or any of these below, you need to rasterize your text. So once you have your text typed, go to rasterize, and then you can then distort, perspectivize, and warp any of your text to suit and fit on top of your letters. So yours should look similar to this, um, judging by the color you've used. All right, once you've done that, you wanna hide that layer because we're now gonna add the texture. So open up your texture that you've chosen. And I'm gonna disable this just for a moment so you can see the texture I'm using. Now I chose an inside orange texture because obviously I'm doing orange, but if you're doing a different type of fruit, obviously use a texture adjacent to that lovely fruit. Um, so grab that and then you're gonna go and Command click on the thumbnail of that letter you just made and it'll give you a little marquee thing around it. Coolness, right? Then you're gonna go over here on top of the texture layer. You're gonna hit the mask button and that's then gonna mask out the texture portion you need. So once I enable that, that's what it looks like. Pretty nifty, isn't it? Now, I bet you some of you experts out there are probably going to say things like, oh, I have an easier way of doing it, or I have this and that. That's fine. I'm just doing it the way I figured it out. So, if it's a little bit more confusing or more time-consuming, I apologize in advance. But, we're getting somewhere. So, you're going to do the very same um, effect we just did for all of your remaining fruit la letters that you're using um, with the textures for that fruit. Same idea, just we're going to use it for different ones. So then I have that for my strawberry. So basically that's the effect right there. Um, but for me, I wanted to really enhance this and add more of an effect to it. So I went ahead and grabbed the toppers for each of my fruits. So as you know, the strawberry has a green little stem. So I was a cool kid. I went and found a green stem texture. That's not the right one. Where did I put it? I put it right here. And I grab that and put it right there on top. Nifty-ish. And then, same thing for my orange. I went and did this. Oops, that's not the right layer. Sorry, dudes. And of course, for my orange, I did the very same. I had, of course, distorted it to suit the size and canvas size and what have you. But that's essentially what I got. So, that's the tutorial. That's how simple adding fruit into your text can be. If you know of any other ways of doing this that are easier and whatnot, feel free to comment below with some suggestions. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions for future videos, again, comment below. Or if you feel better inboxing me, you're welcome to do that as well. I'll get back to you in timely fashion. 
And yes, so I want to firstly apologize again for not uploading a Back to Basics video this week. My computer is acting really crazy lately. I'm not sure what the heck's going on with it, but I have to get it serviced apparently. So that's why the videos are juggling here and there. I should have had this video uploaded yesterday, but my computer was being really crazy and stupid, so I had to make the video today, edit it today, and upload it today. So I apologize, guys. I know I should be more off to adding videos every single week, twice a week, and on top of things, but until my computer gets fully serviced and fixed, I don't know how it's going to be going, but I promise you at least a video a week. It might be Sundays. It might be Thursdays. It's going to be a video. Just, I don't know when, okay? Sorry my schedule's off, but it's going to be crazy. So, yep. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and all that stuff. Comment, like, and subscribe. If you like what you see, subscribe because I post at least twice a week, or I try to, like I just said. Um, and you'll get awesome stuff if you subscribe. And go on our Facebook page and like my Facebook page because I post randomly on there sometimes. I'm not really a good Facebooker, I admit it, but I do my best to go on there when I can. And also, if you want to be a patron, you can go below and subscribe, be a patron of me. I like patrons. I like you guys. Um, and Twitter, follow me on Twitter and Tumblr. All my links for where you can find me are below. I love you all. I will see you again next week. Bye.